Hi Virgo, welcome to your new moon in Leo Love Tarot Reading. This is Mary and this is Sunlight Insight Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome, welcome, and thank you. So Virgo, we're looking at um, this new moon in Leo energy. So this, you know, I'm not an astrologist, but you know, Leo energy can be about pride, ego, um, being in the limelight, attention. Sometimes it's not always bad, um, you know, shining like a star. You know, being authoritative. It also represents the strength in the sun in the tarot, which the sun is the best card you can have. It's about illumination, healing, peace, love, harmony, joy. It's the highest vibration of everything. And strength can be about, you know, strong connections. It can be about willpower, determination, courage, but also can be about uh, willpower and holding back. So we'll see how that energy plays out. And the new moon is all about new energy. It can be new connections. It can be bringing new energy into current connections so new cycles so we'll see how this plays out or the intentions of for you virgo sun moon rising venus male or female general collective reading please only take what resonates for you including the signs mentioned you definitely can flip it switch it if i'm saying this is them but you're like oh no that's me switch it cross watchers could be a, a reading or messages for you and keep in mind if this doesn't resonate or you're not interested in whatever comes out here it is not your reading this time people just don't get it <laughs> i have to say it all the time and they leave comments i have to delete so obviously if it's not resonating or like i want no part of that it's not your reading this time plain and simple all right leo let's see what we have for you well we have spiritual growth and tantric union leo somebody here has grown spiritually maybe they weren't spiritual before and now coming into a very spiritual tantric kind of union oh my goodness um for some i'm kind of getting twin flame energy but it doesn't have to be does not have to be if you don't like that label it could be a heavy soulmate whatever that is for you leo i've been getting this a uh, heavy heavy spiritual soulmate energy or twin flame energy in your readings for <coughs> seems like forever you know and spirit has no time spirit world has no time so people say well this i've been seeing this energy for three years three years in the spirit world can be three minutes so people have to understand that uh ener energy and spirit has no time okay not like human time anyway leo all right everything you need to know is down below so you can check that out if you want to if this does not resonate for you you can definitely check out past readings or you just want to check out other readings uh your playlists are down below and i do consider our all readings timeless the messages of that month just could be for any time really so to check that out oh my goodness leo what's going on here and if you are new here, I do eight readings a month to a week. So make sure that they're all messed up here. And down below, you can find the content times days I publish as well. And keep an eye on the community tab if for the next uh, few months, if my full-time job kicks into overtime, I may have to make changes or cut back on readings. I'm not sure yet how it's going to play out. Community tab's a place to be for updates. So we have respect. Oh, well, i got to turn it over. Hello. And we have guardian so familiar guardian we have a frog and a cat i never noticed the frog before this is the witch's wisdom oracle and this kind of looks like a pentacle energy well it is pentacle duh mary so someone now understanding and respecting this connection for what it is definitely guardian here somebody could have definitely been guarding their heart um maybe i know it says familiar but i'm getting family so maybe somebody had a family here is protecting oh and the cat's even got a pentacle on the collar and the third eye is open here which is the spiritual growth and black cats from what i hear do represent our spiritual side our spiritual energy our spirituality and they're very protective spiritual as well they have good foresight they're definitely connected to the divine and energies wow somebody could have a black cat or that just could be spiritual energy between you where a third eye is now open on the other end and there's been the spiritual growth and now this respect for the spiritual aspect of this connection there could be an offer here with that pentacle energy of some kind all right pentacles are very stable grounded kind of energy which is earth energy virgo taurus capricorn you are an earth sign virgo 
All right, Virgo. I do have another channel for Twin Flames. If you want to check that out, link is below. I do mostly collectives. The Zodiacs were not getting many views over there, but collectives are doing fairly well. So if you just want to check it out, see what it's about, link is below. I do a weekly check-in. I do a monthly feminine, monthly masculine, monthly spiritual guidance for separation, and a monthly 5D conversation. It's very interesting where I take uh, love message decks and I get a conversation going between the two. And then I also um, pull cards in the middle from messages like from the divine on their conversation or spirit, whatever you want to call it. So it's like a 5D conversation with divine moderation, if you want to say that. So, okay. So we have loyalty dog, which is 37, which is 10. And then one new beginnings. And then we have law. And we have 28, which is 10 again and one new beginning. So it could be someone was very loyal to whatever their responsibilities were, whatever they were going through, whether it was, you know, an ending of law here could be an ending of a marriage or a contract of some kind and being very dedicated and loyal to whatever they were obligated or contracted to. But with these two tens as saying that's endings, ending, ending, and be one, one, new beginning. And I just said one, one for some definitely could be a twin flame connection. It does not have to be. So, and we do have a cat, you know, Leo is a cat. Usually it's a lion. Lion is a cat, so, all right, cats and dogs. So one may like cats, one may like dogs, maybe even birds. All right, let's see here. We have a crow. Somebody eating crow? Maybe it's their past person, I don't know. All right, very, so this person is very, very loyal. You could both have a very loyal nature very loyal and respectful energy here, which is kind of good in a way. All right. Virgo, let's see what else we need to know for you for this Leo new moon. Love tarot reading. I'm just going to shuffle these up if I can. All right. Let's cut the deck. Let's see. Two of Wands, a new path, a new vision is emerging here. Seven of Pentacles potential. So there's been a lot, there's been investments that had to be taken care of because the path, the two ones is about the path behind you and the path before you. So there's been a lot of investment here, but there is a potential as well. I kind of see like this is the path behind and the path ahead. So whatever someone was investing in, it's behind them. Seven of Wands endurance. Yeah, that's about two sevens here. Divinely guided energy in the tower. Aries energy and look what's behind here is the ace of cups page of wands all right let's see here three of pentacles about rebuilding ace of pentacles so we're getting all the pentacle energy now knight of wands and the hangman so somebody was definitely stuck in something, hung up in something here with the hangman but we have communication or good news coming in about now a new ace two aces here a solid, stable love offer that could possibly go all the way here. Long-term potential. So we got the page and the knight. So I'm taking action with the messages um, of good news. That whatever they, because whatever they were stuck in, whether it was you or them, they're moving away from that and now coming forward with the offer right here. As well as the pentacle, the cup. So again, whatever they were investing in, again, Endurance seven wands about setting healthy boundaries or fighting for what you want, setting up again those healthy boundaries. It does say endurance. I know this deck, the seven and nine wands reverse for me, but it is what it is. So the seven and the two gives you the nine, which again is about not giving up. Someone's been through the ringer here. Definitely there's been destruction, a big crumbling down of something they invested in the past behind them, setting those healthy boundaries fighting for what they want, rebuilding here with the Three of Pentacles. So there is a possibility here of someone no longer being stuck. It's all crumbled down, rebuilding, or wanting to build, the, taking action with the offer, the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles, into a new path here with, with the Two of Wands. Wow, so I do see here Aries. Um, two cards of Sagittarius here, or it could be Leo, Aries, Sag, Pisces. All right, so let's see, Virgo, what else we have for you? I mean, the uh, tower also could be awakening, epiphany, aha moment, surprise, shock, 
sudden revelation can be a crumbling down of something as well. It's not always bad. So somebody here definitely had awakening here with the spiritual growth. But yet, I definitely feel like they've... Now, the seven and three of pentacle gives you the ten of pentacles, which can be about marriage, commitment, a committed energy to something, whether it was work or marriage or something like that. But this ace can lead to the ten of pentacles, but it's going to take potential in work and in investing and in rebuilding. All right, so I just feel like law there, somebody... It just does things by the books, as, you know, really it should. All right, so what else here for Virgo? King of Cups. Look at that. We've got the King of Wands on the bottom, too. So, and the King of Swords. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Three kings here. I mean, if we had all four kings, it would be the Emperor. King of Cups. Somebody who... I kind of seeing like the light is shining and he's wearing his heart on his sleeve, his cup on his sleeve, or his heart on his sleeve. I see two dolphins there, like soulmates coming together. It's like this person can manifest the soulmate union now, and now they're ready to wear their heart on their sleeve when maybe they were hiding it before. So we have Pisces energy there on water. Like he's offering the cup right here. Queen of Wands. So... We have the page, the knight, the queen. All we need now is the king, which he's on the bottom of the deck. So he's coming out here to play. So look at that. The king, queen of wands looking right at each other. Aries and Leo, along with the knight and the page. We have the whole family here. There could be a potential to have a family with this person. And fire, wands, very fiery, hot, passionate, as well as tantric union. But the tantric union is more spiritual kind of union. It's not just sexual union or whatever it's a tantric it's like connecting on all levels of you know passion fire spirit spiritual energy as well emotional intimate on all levels not rushing taking our time wow leo a leo i don't know why i said leo i get this energy a lot for leo so some of you may have we are talking about the new moon of leo if you're a Virgo, you may have Leo in your chart, or maybe Leo is your main sign. You're watching Virgo for your uh, Venus or Moon or something like that. doesn't have to be. Maybe your person's Virgo. But let's see what else we have here. The Five of Wands competition, it says here. And the Sun. Well, there's that Leo energy. Happiest card in the deck. Now, the Five of Wands can be about competition. We do have the wheel here. So... Fate, destiny, divine timing, things getting better, moving in the right direction. I feel like someone is conflicted here that this person is actually going to grow spiritually or overcome whatever they are legally obliged to, obligated to. But things are moving forward here rapidly. Maybe all of a sudden now the new path is open. It's fate, it's destiny, divine timing, things getting better, moving in the right direction. Um, things meant to be here. So we have Sag, Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, and Scorpio. We have Leo here again. We have every fire sign, Aries, Leo, and Sag. Again, the sun is the happiest card in the deck. And I spoke about that at the beginning. It's pure happiness, joy, love, fulfillment, victory, success, illumination, healing. Again, spiritual growth can come with the sun as well. Being totally illuminated. And we kind of have like two souls coming together here as well. Definitely past life energy I'm getting as well. Could be children involved, potential maybe having children with this person. That's something that you're both wanting. So the King of Swords, Temperance. So we have Gemini, Sagittarius. So this, you know, Temperance brings soulmates together. Peace, harmony, joy, balance, past life, healing, divine alchemy, brings soulmates together at exact right time. King of Swords, I'm almost seeing as like uh, universal flow, energy, divine energy, stepping in here more to masculine energy so really making it happen here six of swords moving into peace harmony balance leaving anything else behind page of pentacles there's a solid offer again capricorn energy chariot coming in quick cancer energy positive movement forward again victory success balance movement could be traveling or moving nine of cups wish fulfillment happiness and joy so let's see what else we have here for 
Virgo. Oh, my cat. Rubbing it against the tripod. He always does that when he wants my attention. All right. I don't know why I'm cutting the deck, but I guess it is it is what it is. Ten of Wands. So, again, somebody's legal obligations are over, whatever they may be. A contract, a contract of some kind. An obligation is over. It's done. They're kind of bored with the whole situation. Like, you know, they're glad it's over, I kind of feel here. So now we have the Emperor coming in here, coming out to play. We did see almost every king. Aries energy. And the three of wands, motivation. So this is the path forward. So the path is opening up here and then manifesting the path forward here with the three of wands. If you subtract that, two, three, you get the ace of wands. And we did have the ace of cups and ace of pentacles. So definitely it is coming in here. The masculine is manifesting this. He's moving forward. He kind of has the fourth wand in his hand. And that's the four of wands, which some, uh, definitely some of this could be a twin flame connection. It does not have to be. Um, it's got a crystal on the top, so that's more of a spiritual nature being divinely connected. Wow. Someone taking lead control charge of their life. It could be, you know, an entrepreneur, boss, leader, business owner. It doesn't have to be. Wow. Again, four of cups kind of done with the situation a of swords done and tired of being stuck in it he wants pure ultimate happiness joy ten of cups he's ready to move forward to this new love knight of cups energy the proposal could be you know just a date let's meet up let's talk scorpio energy magician he's ready again he's ready to manifest this he is he's got the cup right there waiting with the pentacle the sword of truth and the fire of the wand nine of pentacles a single energy single energy wow okay so virgo let's see what else the star divinely guided energy faith hope optimism which dreams coming true divinely guided energy healing things meant to be here aquarius energy wow and Seven of Swords. Loss. Yeah, he's definitely gone through a loss. That could be strategy. That could be... Um, I think he's had to avoid the connection with you because of law and order. That's what I'm getting here. Law. We have law. We have order. Law and order. Being loyal to what he has to be. Maybe even if he doesn't want to be. But he's very respectful and loyal. But now he's grown spiritually. Or someone has... And there's a very spiritual tan tantric union about to take place here. Could be by the end of July. I mean, but this is coming out because we have a seven here on the 25th. So it could be seven weeks, seven days for some. But let's just see if we can get a little bit more. All right, this one wanted to come out. Knight of Cups again coming out again. Scorpio energy. Page of Swords. So honest communication coming in about a proposal here. But I don't think it's going to be like marriage, but it's a proposal of some kind, a love proposal. Um, I'm ready to connect now. We can do this now. I'm legally, my legal contracts are over, whatever they may be. I just had to stay loyal to that energy and respect it until it was over and done. So that is a very good energy, a very loyal, respectful energy. Wow. So we have Aquarius energy here. Eight of Pentacles putting he's ready to put in the work now. Hermit, so definitely single. He just had to wait, probably, you know, hermit mode here for a while. He had to wait it out here. Definitely thinking about the connection. That's spiritual growth, enlightenment, healing. Virgo energy. That's you thinking of you. And they want wish fulfillment with you. Nine of Cups. Their devil energy is done. The vortex here. Devil Capricorn. It's over. It's done. They were tempted. They were tempted to come forward. But now they've had an energetic, re energetic reset. They're ready to jump right in here to this new beginning. Diving head first. Equal give and take. Coming in fast. Could be moving or traveling. So have Cancer, Aquarius, Queen of Pentacles. Look at that. The King and Queen of Pentacles looking right at each other. Virgo and Capricorn. Queen of Swords. Definitely... Could be divorce or something like that. Legal matters. 
whatever here. But there's definitely been a loss. And there's a moon. So there's that new moon in Leo. And we had, didn't we have the sun pop out? I thought we had strength too, but maybe not. But uh, yeah, so, wow. This is a good energy. I'm feeling good vibes from this. So you maybe have, someone's been disappointed because it wasn't happening or didn't know what was going on or feeling like somebody was guarded. But they were just doing what they had to do and they were doing things out of respect and loyalty to whatever their obligations were. That's, I feel like, over and done now. They've grown spiritually through this, through your connection. And this union is about to come in, I feel. All right, these two want to come out. So I have a turn back, 51, which is six, a very healing balance energy, and drop it three. I see, I feel like they were tempted. They were tempted to come forward, which was, I feel like they just turned back though. And they kind of dropped the energy because they had to. Because coming forward, still being obligated to something, they felt guilty, they felt confused. And they're like, okay, I can't do it. I have to wait till the right time. So we do have six and three, which is a nine, which is a single energy. So rebel, 30, which is three, just putting in the work, growth, regrowth, rebuilding. They feel like they were rebelling, but they didn't feel comfortable with the energy. So they definitely did getting the stop sign there, whatever that is to turn back. Don't do this right now. Don't do it. It's not right. And they knew it. And we, this little guy, whatever, he's in pink, a lot of pink, represents new love. Love your body. 22. Two. Choices, decisions, partnerships. This person loves you inside out. Doesn't matter who you are, what you look like. So they're telling you to love yourself as you are or vice versa. Because they love you as you are. Turn on the light. Five. There will be change. So keep the light on for them. <laughs> I'm getting the commercial. Uh, you know, keep the light on. I forgot what motel that was. In 39, 12, 3, again, rebuilding, growth, expansion, accept love. So the love is coming in. Keep the light on. Keep the light on. They're getting over something. New beginning here. One. Let go and flow. 27, 9, single energy. So this person can finally let go, go with the flow, embrace this connection. Wow. They've done everything the right way, which is a good energy, which is a very good energy. I feel Virgo. Okay, Virgo, that's what I have for you. So I hope that helped and resonated. Again, thank you so much for being here. It's truly, truly appreciated. Again, if this doesn't resonate for you, you check playlists down below. I do consider all my readings timeless. The month is just when the messages come out, but they literally can be for any time. So if you'd like to check that out, uh, as well as the Twin Flame channel, that li link is below if you're interested in that. So wishing you the best, Virgo, and I shall see you next time.